Good morning, and it's so early. We're trying to get an early start on the day. So today is the egg and potato uh, egg and potato scramble with cheese in it. So that's some breakfast today. We're gonna get started, and we're gonna plan for an early trail today. All right, so the trail today is at Curlton National Forest. We're doing the Cedar Point Tideland Trail. plan for today had to be start a trail early and go hiking because by lunch I think Andrea it's what supposed to be 91 yeah. yeah about 91 degrees by lunchtime so we definitely want to get out of here and try to get any hike done so that we don't get them too hot today and it doesn't get too hot for us so at least we're starting early and it's nice and cool right now Trying to catch them while you can see them, but there's like tons of small fiddler little fiddler crabs. Small. Yeah. One very cool thing about this nature trail is the fact that you're in all of these elevated bridges throughout it, where you're looking over the marshes, the creeks, and it just gives you a whole new perspective on everything around you. And you can see over there, even more open water. And even more fiddler crabs. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. You try a little bit closer. Just neat that they're all over the place here. Very nice trail, and actually on this bridge all the way across, very well maintained too. With a great view. This is another trail that's just unique in its own way. Like yesterday's trail, we had the breeze and the beach. Today, it's the marshes and the woods. Completely different, but at the same time, still very nice. This trail also comes with a lot of bird feeders and bird houses, so you never know when you're going to turn a corner and you might have 30 to 50 birds just sitting on the trail just looking at you. And more trails and here's a quick map of the entire area we just walked seemed like a whole lot shorter than two miles but we're back and be prepared well we're out exploring again and this time we have traveled up to the other campground in Croatan National Forest and that is the Flanders Beach campground so we're driving back here to see what it looks like. Maybe this will be somewhere we want to stay next time. All right, definitely this is going to be one we look at coming back to. The campsites actually remind us a lot of Carolina Beach, where all each and every site is kind of secluded on its own in the woods. It's got plenty of foliage and tree cover, so it's got shade and everything. And actually, one section of it, I think it was the non electrical, where it's, it was mostly tent campers over there, so I'm, that's what I'm guessing. But I had a nice outlook straight at the beach and the water. And then on the wreck area, you got a very nice picnic area spread out, plenty of bike trails, and still another good look at the beach and access is down to the beach. So definitely this will be one we'll look at staying at whenever we come back to this area. We love roundabouts. New Bern, you're great. This is one thing we miss from Europe is the roundabouts. And just for that, I'm gonna make another turn. I'm gonna make another turn in the roundabout just because I like them so much. Now we're gonna keep on driving. But yes, if you didn't pick it up, we're in New Bern. Never thought to come to New Bern really. Never thought it was really that much of anything here. But so far just driving in here, there's a lot to do here. A lot to walk around, a lot of drive around, and a lot of things to see. So this has been very interesting so far. I am flat out blown away by New Bern so far. I mean, yeah, we knew there was a lot of historical stuff here, but I mean, really, wow. I mean, I, I have no words. Like this building right here, it was the first provincial Congress. It was the courthouse. And I mean, just look at it, man. 
you don't see buildings like that anymore. And I mean, it's almost every government building in New Bern is like that. It's an older building you just never see like that. I mean, I, I'm blown away. Do you know a little fact about New Bern? In 1898, it was the birthplace of Pepsi Cola. My, one of my favorite drinks right now. So definitely after driving through downtown New Bern, seeing all the cool buildings and everything you can do there, it's definitely gonna be a day trip that Andrea and myself will be making here in the near future. We just gotta make plans for it and do it and I think it'll be an awesome trip. We stopped by another little farm stand on the way home and we're gonna have um, tuna niswa salads for lunch. And so we picked up some tomatoes to cut up and then for dessert we're gonna have some peaches. All right, we just got back from our exploration trip and we're having tuna niswa. So you have a garden uh, lettuce variety, some boiled eggs, tomatoes, which actually are local. We'll pick them up at a produce stand on the way here and some tuna chunks. So we're gonna dig right in. After a good feeling lunch, now we're laying in bed, relaxing, looking out our, our stargazer window at the trees blowing in the breeze. All right, we finished up our little rest break and now we're gonna head back to Fort Macon State Park and we're gonna go to the beach access. See how busy it is and take the girls down to the beach, see how they do and hopefully get our toes wet a little bit because it is a little hot outside. And hopefully the girls won't act like fools. That's true. Not sure if you can hear me, but we're back at Fort Pickett State Park in the beach area just right of the jetty, which uh, you might be able to see right over there. So, wow, look at these waves. Pretty good. Them. It's pretty cool that from right here on the Fisherman's Trail you can see all of the lake and well, at least this portion of it. It's a really cool scene to walk up back up here and see it. And looking back this way, this is the Fisherman's Path. So right down that path where we just came from. Not sure how much of what I've said in the last few shots you actually heard, but short and sweet. If you come to Fort Macon and you're looking for a little out of the way place to go swimming, go take the Fisherman's Path from the Visitor Center. It's a quarter mile out to the beach and then just stay right at the jetty. But big waves, no lifeguards, just be aware of that. But it was a very nice trip out there and it's nice to see like a little piece of um, unspoiled. unspoiled, there we go, thank you, unspoiled beaches cause barely anybody goes out there and the wind blows so well out there it just cleans up all the paths and all the footprints out there so that's really nice to see quick stop by ben and jerry's i got the tonight though and andrew got the triple caramel chunk so we're going to spoil our dinner a little bit we'll be eating a little bit later tonight but man is it worth it Dinner is served. We have shrimp scampi. Who said you can't have great meals while you're camping? So, honestly, this smells very good and I wish you could smell it too. Dinner is finished. I've taken my shower and it's time to relax. Is it just us or have we not packed a lot of stuff that we've done these last three days uh, into that short amount of time? I mean, it just seems like we've done a lot of stuff and it's, whoa, the hair's long. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to relax, watch a movie, and call it a night. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining.